and the interview did not come for a week same thing that happened in microsoft happened here also um, then i i asked the uh, i called the recruiter see what i said asking what happened she was like no in the i haven't got the feedback yet then i continued to wait hello all welcome back to uncommon geeks myself vasanta i hope you all doing well if you are seeing me for the first time on the internet i am a content creator who help, who create lot of content to uh, help people to clear their interviews in the past also i have created lot of video series which has been appreciated by many i am trying to put that link somewhere on the description also i am going to discuss those somewhere in the video as well okay that's all about myself let's get started with the actual content yes i applied for uh, reliance geo uh, uh, company for a role of mobile application developer sd3 uh, react native driven role that was uh, and what happened to the interview whether i was selected or rejected that you know only if you watch the video till the end somewhere in the video i'm going to dis- disclose that and you have to watch the al- video al- till the end because of another reason because of a very interesting question that was asked in the cto round and according to me that was the question which was like a decision maker whether to select me or not okay that question might be useful for you also if you are also applying for the reliance geo so watch the video till the end somewhere i'm in the middle i'm going to uh, explain that so very first thing the about the company we need to talk about the company because most indians would know what is reliance geo if some foreigners are watching or people from remote area are watching basically reliance is a very conglomerate a big biggest indian firm they have lot of other entities a lot of entities the telecom entity is known as reliance geo okay so reliance geo at the time of this video recording is having around 41 crore people using that or 413 million users using that uh, reliance geo as a telecom partner of theirs okay and uh, they are india's biggest telecom provider according to me they could be landing in top 5 or top 10 world's biggest telecom provider also they have the huge scale okay so why i applied definitely the reason is same the scale i wanted to work for some application which has a huge scale and reliance already has it and i have a skills to help building such good application so win win for both so i applied for reliance geo now let's get started so i did not get any call as such uh, from the recruiter i i saw the opening in uh, uh, linkedin then i applied for the role in, uh, in the linkedin in within one or two day they called me okay and uh, the, the interviewer was sweet she took all my details and uh, she explained me about the round why which app we are hiring they were hiring for uh, reliance uh, geo money and they tell the interview structure and uh, probably the duration that interview would take how we have to prepare all of that she said so it was a very clean neat introductory call okay after that the interview process got started so the first round there was a small funny story that i had to mention in the first round the first one was basically to test my react native and javascript skill sets so an uh, interviewer came but uh, by the before he came to my interview itself he had a production issue and he said the interview recruiter informed me at the last moment to take my interview so he was not so comfortable taking the interview because he was having a production issue and he was keep getting the pings so he said no let us not have the interview today let's postpone it nothing wrong from reliance side because every every company undergo this production issues are set to come unexpectedly because if you know the problem we'll fix it correct so no problem recruiter rescheduled my meeting uh, the se- first round for the second time new interviewer came this time not the first one who came i think the compared to the first interviewer who came second interview was slightly less experience i don't know i have not seen them but looks seems to me like that by the type of uh, interaction and the question that they were asking so the second the first round of the interview the mainly they, as i mentioned they were testing my javascript and react skill sets so they asked me a lot of concepts like in react they asked me hooks reconciliation re-rendering uh, all those things and in javascript again the fundamental questions like debouncing throttling etc and uh, they asked me some data structure algorithm questions also on linkedin and binary search tree and they always mention i don't like to disclose all the questions that were asked in the interview I don't not that i have an nda but i don't see it's ethical so if you want me to make a detailed video about the interview experience by solving the question please do mention that in comment section and like the video Video. definitely i'll try to make uh, if i get a good number of likes and comments definitely i'll take a media on, video on that but pick, probably i'll pick the similar lines of question and i'll try to solve for you okay and i was able to solve the linked list question and i was not able to solve the binary search tree with dfs bfs etc because i was not prepared that level in the first turn to answer all those i explained that to him maybe he was quite fine uh, as it was a front end developer this was kind of a 
bonus kind of a question i am thinking so he was fine and i was through the first round okay interviewer called recruiter called me and within next couple of days they set up the second round the second round was pure coding react native coding round i think if you apply for native android or web application development they would ask you some coding question there so the question asked to me was this is not the same question but a similar line of a question they to implement a timer so where it will show first 10 9 8 7 till the 0 between each timer you have to show a delay of the lesser number like between 10 to 9 9 second delay 9 to 8 8 second delay goes on till the zero okay question seems very easy yeah, but it is not that actually that easy because you have to manage the states the timer and show the number at the right interval and you have to bind certain things so it is not that very straightforward to answer but uh, i was able to solve the problem fully uh, maybe half an hour was given i took slightly higher like 40 minutes but i was able to solve this problem fully remaining time he asked me some basic questions of react react native etc uh, i was through this round first two rounds went very well uh, according to me then the third round uh, was set, set up by the recruiter after i think uh, three four days this was a tech lead round i think people who took my interview right their lead took this round for me okay this round was very very informative because i had i did not know lot of concept that the uh, interviewer asked me since he is a tech lead i think he has very in depth knowledge about the entire technology he has me lot of questions one question let me mention let's say you are making an api call every time and uh, even before you making the first call the token is expired i think you all know what is token token is like authentication between client and server token is expired even before you make a first call on landing of a page you are making three calls you have to make sure you are not making three calls you are making just one call the token is expired you get back the token and you make the remaining two calls so how you are going to do that okay very interesting question if you want to know the answer mention that in comment section i'll try to make a detailed video of the interview experience there i'm going to explain this if you know the answer please do mention that in comment section somebody may get benefited okay so very interesting questions very interesting and very real time questions were asked to me in this round uh, it went an average i can tell and because he asked me some complex kind of a coding like a list with a huge numbers and whenever you click on one the color changes and the rest will have a different color so i'd say slightly difficult question uh, moderate to difficult i say not an easy round okay and uh, but i was very lucky i got this round because very very informative round then after this round the interview did not come for a week S- same thing that happened in microsoft happened here also Uh, then i i asked the uh, i called the recruiter see what i said asking what happened she was like no in the i haven't got the feedback yet then i continue to wait and after a week she called i was hoping no this this is i have not shortlisted and this is gone but she called me and uh, she informed me that yes uh, you are through this round also now we have a final round of cto okay important thing to uh, uh, see here is there was no round called proper dsl go round okay why i'm saying this some people are very scary towards uh, dsl go round so probably you can apply for companies like this where there is no dsl go only th- some basic questions on arrays and string if you know you'll be able to sail through now finally cto round happen so cto round was very interesting round uh, unfortunately he was um, having some personal issues somebody was at hospitalized and he was picking them back etc i don't know why recruiter set up that in the middle of all this um, and he, he took around 15 minutes of interview just 15 minutes he asked me some very basic questions of uh, front end and mobile application and, and it was fine i also requested him in case if he is not in a mindset of judging someone let's probably have the interview little later okay and no he said no 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 we can have this should be this no problem then fine Uh, all some basic questions he asked then he asked me one question like this is the question which probably most of you would be waiting what the question that was asked he asked me a question where there are nine identical weights okay weights i think let's consider stone nine identical weighing stones out of which one is weighing higher so eight stones have one weight one stone has a higher weight okay and you have a way uh, where and you can weight only twice no matter whether you put four stone one places and four stone other places or any order you can put it only twice and you have to determine the which is which stone is heavier hope you all got the question there are nine stones where eight stones have a similar weight one stone has a higher weight okay by weighing only twice you have to determine which stone has the highest weight okay this was the question asked to me Yeah, as most of you might have guessed definitely i was not able to answer this question okay i had prepared for this kind of questions only when i was a fresher because they used to ask the questions like let's say there is a cake and you have you can cut the cake only thrice and you have to make a maximum pieces after the my fresher uh, thing got uh, over i had never saw <laughs> read about any questions like uh, this 
because i never thought a senior engineer will be evaluated depending on the uh, weighing scale okay i, I don't uh, comment about the company's interview structure it is their choice to select depending on what are the skills they have what you think uh, making this question as the decisive decisive question to select an engineer or not in the comment section okay so after this round uh, my 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 position was kept on hold i was not selected i was not rejected inter recruiter said you are on hold maybe after some time they might have got a good fit who can answer that question so so they they did not call me back so i can i can say for a long duration it was on hold maybe finally they got a better person than me okay i can't say reject because they did not say rejected they were just trying to can they get somebody better than me i was thinking good they were looking for best okay so this was my interview experience at geo if you like the video please do like it on my youtube channel and share this videos with your friend friends do not forget to subscribe to uncommon geeks and uh, if you like i mentioned if you want me to make a detailed video of my reliance geo experience definitely i can make by picking the question how i wrote the code what the mistakes i made how to avoid all of that i can explain but i need to get a good number of likes and comments for this video please do do that and uh, i as i mentioned i've created three beautiful series if you are seriously preparing for the interview one the javascript interview uh, where i've explained all the common interview questions and how to solve them i'll put that link on the screen also in the description section second the custom implementation so custom implementation of built in methods like how to write your own polyfill for array.reduce array.concat please do i'm i'm link that on also on the screen also in the description please do watch that third series is for the mang if people who are seriously preparing for mang kind of an interview i picked the questions interview questions asked in those companies and how to solve them Th- that also put somewhere on the screen also in the description please watch that and um, if all these questions whatever i've uh, discussed in my interview se- uh, series i've put that in the github you can download my github project star my github project and practice the questions i've written a lot of beautiful articles about javascript topics in my medium so please do read my medium blogs and follow me on medium also okay and uh, you can always connect with me on linkedin to share your feedback you can always put your feedback in comment also but if you have some personal queries feel free to contact me on linkedin i'll be more than happy to connect with you and discuss okay so that's all about this thank you so much catch you in next video